first evidence we've got for permanent English settlement on Hatteras Islands is from about the 1720s. And what's incredible is that these as these first pioneers settled on exactly the same place as the Native Americans had for the last four or five hundred years. So what we find above the Native American levels is archaeological evidence for these first English. For example, this is a piece of slipware, um, a type of um, earthenware pottery that they would have um, cooked and eaten their food off, something like that. Or, for example, here we've got a really good example of a bottle an onion bottle or brandy bottle, and there's the, the neck and there's the base from around 1720, 1730. But I suppose one of the really telling pieces were at the right date is this halfpenny, which is actually dated exactly 1737. So somebody left a, a coin there in these levels. And what I find extraordinary is this is remains of one of their houses made of daub, but they actually included in part of the pot sherds of a salt glazed bowl dating from around 1730. So this is the kind of houses that those first English pioneers in the early 18th century were building. The first English pioneers didn't just survive with fishing and farming but probably indulged a bit of piracy. One fascinating artifact that we found is this which is a piece of eight it's actually from a mexican silver pillar dollar and it is literally a coin that has been cut into an eighth of a segment this was a classic coinage that was doing the rounds in the spanish treasure ships of the first part of the 18th century